topic that post covid how business is going to be uh, covid is very unprecedented nobody um, in the history of mankind especially after the the globalization and the commerce that we seeing um, nobody expected a pandemic like this before and it has brought the whole world to halt um and and especially an industry like like what i am into uh, the restaurant which is a services service based business there are a lot of um, uh, bleed in terms of the there is a lot of people working for us there is rental there are a lot of fixed expenses uh, but there is no business so it's actually very very hard uh, to manage a situation like this and if you look at automobile industry the first two months of lockdown they lost about 75000 crores it's not an easy money and they had zero sales a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of people were laid off a lot of people were paid only 50% of salary 30% of salary like that so on and so forth similarly in restaurants restaurants in the first two months of lockdown restaurants across the country has lost 35000 crores uh, i mean 35000 crores is the losses that they booked apart from that a lot of restaurants were getting shut and a lot of people lost their jobs so on and so forth so it's basically an unprecedented unprecedented uh, you know a situation for all of us not only for restaurant but for any industry for that matter look at aviation look at real estate look at the salon business look at a retail business fashion business look at the malls look at the theaters you name it everybody is um, is bleeding everybody is uh, going in losses and this is from the business side of it on the other side look at the consumers who are consuming the product actually um uh, even uh, uh, the, their situation is even even bad because they are now uh, they have less money for them to spend because uh, a lot of people have lost their jobs or maybe uh, they've got less salaries because of cut down and lot and so on and so forth so they are also struggling so overall my my uh, my uh, assumption is that it's going to take easily about one year for all of us to recuperate from this current situation um uh, it, it's going to take a lot of time for us to come out of this but while uh, while i say this the other side of it you know being entrepreneurs uh, entrepreneurs are always um, thinking about what next so that in that sense i am as an entrepreneur i am thinking i'm always thinking about how to uh, combat this covid uh, crisis uh, from the business perspective how do we outsmart this situation in fact uh there are many sayings that goes like this you know only in um, uh, um in every adversity there is an opportunity it's a very powerful saying this is an adversity for every one of us you know you being from mba you you are i'm just guessing all of you are all mbas so this is an adversity lot of companies have become uh, uh some uh, some unicorns or large companies have emerged from these situation like this you know in the crisis like for example i can quote you few names airbnb airbnb happened in 2008 crisis when the whole uh, the you know the, uh, the the recession the global recession happened in 2008 the stock market crash happened the lehman brother issues happened real estate crash that's when that's when uh, that's when the uh, you know airbnb came in so like likewise in this covid situation a lot of companies new companies new industries might emerge and and um, saying that uh, i want to share like what i am doing you know see i am into restaurants so the next change of restaurant industry is going to be like the, the restaurants will actually have to become auto you know they have to adopt to technologies and they have to look at how to automate things so i am as a pizza person you know i have been into pizza business for last 10 years i have a brand called zuka pizzeria zuka shakes and now we have recently launched a brand called box pizza we are trying to make our uh, stores multi branded stores so we are trying to do, do joint ventures with few uh, popular brands uh, where we thought there is complete synergy and it's complementing for us so uh, for right now i'm looking at uh, bringing two brands one is a dessert brand which is from chennai uh, he's a is a good friend of mine so this is what we have been doing through this lockdown while we were actually selling uh, some of our pizzas through takeaways and deliveries we are also trying to see what are the various joint ventures we could do so that we could uh we could make sure that our top line is not eroding even though there are uh, there are no enough consumption so we have to make sure that our top line is intact so that we can manage our full cash flows you know the the costs and the fixed cost variable cost and um, you know what not the rental and eb and everything so we are uh, i have already tied up with like four brands 
so all of that brands will will house it in our you know in our restaurant and we will also sell on uh, zomato and the swiggy on the gr- the grocery side uh, we we have uh, we have uh, enlisted few of our products in the essential so so that's available uh, for all the coimbatore i mean of course we have brands in other cities i'm specifically talking about what what we did to combat this so we have launched a, a non alcoholic category called uh, uh, trezy wine we are uh, we are launching a new um, kombucha brand called Fly, flying kombucha i guess you can see this bottle i was just doing a tasting of this this is again non alcoholic and we'll send this both on grocery as well as on the restaurant side these are like over the counter products you know you just have to take it and deliver it like that to customer so we will continue to keep the same labels uh, the number of um, uh, the staff would still remain the same but then we are increasing the top line by bringing in few brands uh, which are over the counter brands so similarly the brands that i'm talking about for the desserts there are two brands one is table and another one is flip both are actually over the counter products so this way we will ensure that we have better visibility and um, we have opened up new avenues for revenues uh, for the desserts and the kombuchas wines and all, what not and we are also uh, trying to um, get into some um, uh, the you know the biryanis and you know the fast moving food items those are we are trying to again um, not make it in the restaurant but we're going to we're going to adopt some te- technology uh, uh, where you could actually have the biryanis just you just have to warm the biryani in the restaurant and you have to give it so you don't have any headache whatsoever and and it also has longer shelf period it goes in weeks so that's the new technology on food business so it goes in weeks and you will you when you when you when you order it home you will not even know whether uh, it's it's uh, it's like um, it's, it's it's i mean it will still for you to taste fresh and the aroma will hit you but then it can it has longer shelf life so this is how the food business and the technology is uh, trending and and we have already adopted to it we want to be the first mover and uh, when everybody was uh, thinking about the lockdown we were trying to unlock our true potential i i i always was saying this through the time you know uh, times like this this uh, is when you have to continue a marketing spend expenditure we were we are the only restaurant which was uh, continuously spending and we were continuously hustling through the period now that when market opens up we are already ready with five joint ventures we are done with it and we don't have to increase any of our cost but we still maintained our cost and uh, we have got like five joint ventures done so this is this is what i would say that you know this is what i think every company is trying to do if you look at the it services company they are trying to they have moved the you know all their um, uh, employees few companies have moved all all their employees into uh, work from home and they while like you know many companies were hesitant about it they somehow convinced the clients and lot of um security and all of these uh, applications have been installed on the uh, you know in the in the employees laptops and what not and then they now they are working from home and i heard few companies have extended till till december right so so you know all situations like this will happen and as entrepreneurs you will have to be uh, you have to be like always agile and look to see if you can create an opportunity out of these situations Uh, be it covid or maybe in the next couple of years we might have some other issues and uh, situations like this will always be there for entrepreneurs uh, the only only thing which will um, make a person um, successful is that how um, how quickly you embrace the situation and the challenge and how quickly can you come out with a solution for the problem and how how quickly can you solve it is all required for an entrepreneur to be successful um guys i think if you have any uh, any questions you can throw this yeah um a- any questions uh, i i would recommend you guys to ask me so that you know because because uh, we lost about 10 15 minutes uh, early in the um, uh, early in this uh, webinar so i'm just trying to rush it as much as possible if you want me to touch upon anything in particular i'll talk about it um and I'm, i'm just looking for something to come on the chat message if nothing is coming then let me let me talk about uh, uh, my 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 companies so let me talk about zuka pizzeria you you please i request all of you to go and check out is it you cca zuka pizzeria.com this is a this is a service line we have restaurants in bangalore chennai and coimbatore 
we may soon open in tirupur we have a franchisee signed up i actually franchise it uh, my parent company is called brand monks food and beverages travel limited where we are trying to uh, also now that we are extending our service offering not only to help companies to scale the business we also do franchise consulting uh, we also help few fmcg brands like trezy for that matter we will going we are going to be the the sales and marketing uh, partners for them so we will we will help this company to scale it online and offline so online we're going to create an e-commerce portal where we will leverage search engine optimization and uh, social media optimization techniques and we will drive a committed number with the organization trezy and we're going to sell the wines online so that's one one aspect of it the other side of it is the offline presence we will onboard uh, distributors across the country we will create new channels the modern channel retail segment the typical fmcg segment all of that we will onboard partners for our brands who are willing to work with us and we will help them scale across the country this is what we do these are new service offerings that we created and i have also launched a brand very recently it's called box pizza uh, uh, i'll uh, on the chat b o c s p i z z a dot com just check out the site guys so this is a new brand that we have launched and uh, um, uh, yeah please pour in all your questions i'm i'm reading the i'm reading your chat messages um so here in box pizza what we do is um we have actually disrupted the pizza market so it's going to be uh, um uh, a totally disruptive model in terms of running the store so uh, zuka pizzeria costs about 30 to 40 lakhs to set up a store whereas box pizza it'll only cost you about 12 12 13 lakhs you can you can launch a store and uh, we are we are trying to we have automated the process so the base is already done so we have reduced the reduced the labor you know inside the kitchen so like two to three people can manage a whole store of box pizza and the base is ready made and uh, it has got about 5 to 6 days of shelf life when people have it they'll not even know whether it is a fresh pizza or the base is coming uh coming uh, is an automated base or not so that's how we have we have done enough r&d research and then we launched it so so that's box pizza check out guys and uh, we are franchising box pizza across the country specifically we are concentrating post lockdown we will only focus on um, tamil nadu um across tamil nadu we are franchising we're going to be like expand expanding that in big wave uh, so that's box pizza for you um what are the uh, challenges in of uh, challenges in of, challenges of entrepreneurs so for, first of all I I I I have worked for about 13 years in various companies you know and after that only I became an entrepreneur so uh, my recommendation uh, for entrepreneurs there are there are few traits that entrepreneurs should have the main uh, trait i would say is that don't look for easy victory that is in entrepreneurship there is nothing called easy nothing easy money doesn't come easy success doesn't come easy you will never become famous easy it takes really really long period of time even now i would say i don't know if you all look at me as success but i'm 5 and of years up with uh, my entrepreneurship and i i i say that it takes about 10 years of dedication sincerity commitment hard work uh, and you will have to do lot of sacrifices to become an entrepreneur uh, uh, in the recent times i've been telling only 2% of the global population are actually entrepreneurs only the 2 percentage is has created so much wealth across this planet what you see as product and services everything has been created by this 2 percent population uh, to become this 2 percent population it's not easy if you are bunch of in a in your classroom there are 100 people or 50 people i don't know in that 100 if you are 100 people in your classroom only 2 people are entrepreneurs globally i'm saying i'm not saying that in your classroom maybe there could be in small samples that could be differences but across the globe only 2% of people have created this this wealth that we see and um, if you see the global gdp is about 65 billion i mean sorry billion it's trillion 65 85 trillion is the global gdp all of this 85 trillion dollars have been generated by this 2% population if you look at india it's about 3 trillion dollars 3 trillion gdp it's created by this 2% so all i'm saying is if this 2% can go up to 3% imagine you are adding up 30% straight away to your gdp right um so that's what we should aspire to that's a, that's a compelling most important reason why we all should become 
entrepreneurs because the 98% of population, they take the easy route. Getting a monthly fixed salary is the most easiest thing that anybody can, you know, get. That is a scene says, which says, which goes like this. Uh, monthly salary is the second biggest addiction next to marijuana. So, which means next to weed, uh, a monthly salary is the biggest addiction because it's so easy, you know, it's like, you know, the, somebody else takes the risk and you get a salary and you're like enjoying, it's like having a free lunch. Um, since the question is about entrepreneurship, what are the difficulties? There are a lot of difficulties. You put in so much money, you put in your time, you put in your efforts, you work hard and you may fail. A lot of, lot of, lot of businesses fail. Especially during this COVID and post COVID, you will see a lot of restaurants, a lot of businesses, a lot of shutdowns, a lot of funded startups will also close because the funding companies are also struggling to mobilize funds. So if, for example, if Swiggy and Zomato, if they don't get the next round of funding, they may, they may close their business. There are possibilities for that. So they are primarily depending on the next uh, round of funds that they're going to be rising. So a lot of, you know, it's not easy, you know, running a, running a business is not easy, especially if you want to become an entrepreneur. The right timing, I would say, is now. You start now. If you, During this COVID period, if any one of you want to become an entrepreneur, truly, genuinely, if you have it in your heart, if it's in your core, don't get tempted for money. Money comes now. Um, money, money is the easiest distraction that anybody can have. Your placements may be a big distraction. Uh, your friends might say that if they've got a job in ICICI bank, he probably might be selling credit cards for all you know. Maybe he's uh, delivering pizzas and Swiggy and Zomato, you don't know. But these are actually jobs um, for which you're paid more than what you really deserve. This is how companies attract talents. Companies always pay more than what you deserve. Keep this in mind. If you, if you get a job for 50,000 rupees, you, have, you, have, you don't deserve it. You've just done your MBA, you've just, just done your engineering. They're paying you for you to forget your dream, right? And you will, and then slowly you will learn what the company wants you to learn. See, many, many engineers, they get into a job, they don't even know which technology they're going to work for. They just join the company, they take up a job, and the company would train you on anything, whatever they want you to end up doing a job in a field that you don't even know. That's what's happening in IT jobs. Same with MBAs. You don't, you don't bring anything as a fresher to a company, you know, uh, who, who I, I, I at least don't because I have, I've been there and done it. You know, I've, I've finished my MBA from Great Lakes and then I work for large companies in multiple roles. Every company would only hire you for what you can actually become and not for all, what you are already are. You know, if somebody is hiring you and even if somebody hires me now, they'll only hire me for what I will become with a company in future. So they know for sure. Uh, you know, if, if they know that this guy is going to become a vice president of sales or marketing or whatever, and if you can go, grow through the company, they're going to hire you. And that's the belief that company has too. And they pay you a little higher salary because they don't want you to get distracted to start something on your own. So your friends might tell you after you start up something, they might tell you, you know, I've got a job in, um, you know, with Amazon or with uh, Baiju's for 30,000, 40,000. I'm a telecaller. You know, if that is going to impact you, you're not good for entrepreneurship. If you're an entrepreneur, if you want to truly become an entrepreneur, you should not have any of the distractions, especially with respect to the money that your friends make. This is the first thumb of rule. Second, you might struggle for many, many, many years. Money doesn't come easily. Remember this. It will take a lot of time. It takes ages. But once you make money, then it becomes autopilot. Then you don't even have to work. That's the beauty of entrepreneurship. So it's, it's a fantastic journey. It's a tough journey. It's only for tough people. It's only for um, people who don't get distracted. Uh, people who don't uh, uh, look for instant gratification. Those are the ones should really look at entrepreneurship as a career. Any questions, guys? Any questions? You're all with me? I can't hear a thing.
anyone listening Guys, you should say something. Otherwise, I will assume that it's not on uh, because I don't hear anybody say anything and I don't see anything on the chat. All right. Okay. You can all hear me. I'm just good. You have any questions, guys? You have any questions? Please post it on the chat if you want me to touch upon certain things. I will talk about it. Yeah, somebody is responding at least. Thank you so much. So uh, let me uh, let me tell you about. Then let me talk about my business. Um, so Box Pizza. Can anyone uh, go and check the website boxpizza.com? Can I share my screen? Share content. Yes. And photos. All right. Um, So what we did with um, uh, Box Pizza is that we made the, we wanted to Box Pizza, what we thought was we wanted to take a brand which is of very low investment and is very highly scalable and it's very highly profitable. So that's how we came up with this Box Pizza ideology and, um, and we, but I had one thing in my mind, but it should have interesting ways of marketing the product so we decided that let's first break the rule of having and serving the pizza in round shape so we made it into a square pizza the first square pizza in town is box pizza nobody has done it and by also it also gave us a lot of marketing advantage because the whole box the box of the pizza is always a square whereas uh, the pizzas inside is always a circle and then we always eat the you know the slice as a triangle or a you know as a cone shape you know that's how we eat so what we thought there is a lot of uh, real estate space getting wasted inside the box on those rims of the pizzas you know because it's a circle so we thought let's make a square pizza so that the real estate that a person ordering pizza uh, he'll have more uh, more um, more pizzas per pizza when compared to other other brands so we started marketing to say that you know it's 22 percent more pizza that's the first first way of marketing second is it's a square pizza and we, when, when, when we thought of this, we also came up with a tagline that it's a truly Indian pizza because there is so much value for the customers when they order it. And it's also that these are gorilla marketing strategies of how to quickly get the attention of the customer. When they first open the box and eat the pizza, the first thing that they'll be like, you know, um, uh, first thing which will go in their mind is that, wow, it's a square pizza. You know, so far I've been seeing a circular pizza. And also that because it's a square pizza, the, the the sauce and the cheese has been applied through the rims of the pizza. So they will have more pizzas without, um, you know, having to chew the uh, buns around in the, in the sides of the pizza. So that way the customers is actually happy. And we have also tried to um, uh, come up with our own beverage uh, called, you know, few beverages. Um, yes, uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have launched a non-alcoholic beer because Globally, pizza and beer is a deadly combination because we are against alcohol and we cannot sell alcohol online or, you know, as a, I mean, I, I don't recommend that. So we have introduced a non-alcoholic beer uh, along with uh, the box pizza. So you might actually get to see it online if you check out our Instagram, Facebook pages. Um, so that's how the box idea emerged. And, um, and check out and give me your feedback. You can always write to me on my WhatsApp number, um, 98400. 54814 is my number. Uh, please feel free to check out. And in case if you want to do any internship with me, please feel free to come over. And we'll be glad. In case even um, uh, uh, even if you want um, even if you want to do internship or uh, any uh, like you know if, if you want to discuss with you with me on any any of your ideas, um, 
please do um, uh, please come over and and have a conversation with me over a cup of coffee or you know ping me on facebook or whatsapp we can definitely talk uh, i think uh, it's uh, 455 if you have any questions i'll i'll answer them okay how do i advertise my products that's a question that i just got now from a person by name uh, gokula krishnan so how do i advertise see basically uh, i used to be doing the above the line marketing um, uh, you know the basically traditional marketing is what we were doing like 5 years ago but today we don't do we kind of avoid all those traditional marketing whatsoever we are completely riding on social media optimization in fact in social media also there are only people you know i have a separate social media team and i've created a separate company for that because um, the kind of social media content that we wanted to create uh, is like at par with, with with the global standard so what i what i thought was initially we outsourced some of our social media work now we we created all of all the social media um, you know you know the content everything is created in house uh i i share a lot of my thoughts to it and i have a team they are brilliant they're doing good job uh now that we have started started taking um uh, social media work for other clients also so that's how we do uh the advertising is primarily on social media the reason is we also did a bit of uh, search engine optimization for the website but the reason thing is that search engine optimization uh, is good for companies which are really really large and for smaller companies for you to have instant results the best solution is to go for SMO, the social media marketing or social media optimization. So that's what we do. Uh, we do a lot of, and 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 I specifically don't um, um, support uh, or I don't do uh, advertisements like you know an offer kind of a post or you know uh, those are like kind of people don't really pay attention to. But if you do posts which are uh, engaging, for example, go and check out. Please do check out our uh, Zuka Pizzeria's page, and I'll 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 share few of our campaigns. We did one for Women's Day. Check out our Women's Day campaign. You can probably type in on Google and say Women's Day Zuka or Valentine's Day Zuka, uh, Cancer Day Zuka. These are campaigns that we did, which really fetched very very good uh, virality and good branding for Zuka. One is for Cancer Day. One is for Women's Day. One is for Valentine's Day. We also did very recently for post COVID. how we are uh, how zuka would actually serve customers we did one campaign for that these are campaigns which had lot of uh, creativity lot of emotion in it and lot of um, um, uh, uh, engagement with the customer so this is how we do advertisement Yes, guys. Anything else? Uh, if you are good, then I'm I'm good too. Um, I'm so I was so happy to talk to you all. Um, I'm I'm so happy to talk to you all um, on, on this video conference. Uh, thanks for the opportunity and. Um, um, uh I, if any one of you want to become an entrepreneur please reach out to me i'll definitely help you connect with uh with the ecosystem the right ecosystem uh uh since it's karpagam your earlier uh, you know incubation centers i mean somebody ibn ahambram right was my uh, i mean he's my friend uh, he was with uh, karpagam earlier i'm not sure if he's still there my company goal is that you know if i if i have to state the company's goals in one line up my company goal is uh, i want to create i want to create sustainable scalable restaurants for future when i say future we want to like you know all this pandemic proof recession proof and all of that when we want to create something sustainable and scalable restaurants for future future ready we want to create future ready restaurant chains fmcg products because we understand the customers pulse and the customer behavior uh and uh, how to take it to the market we know it very well how to engage with customers we know it very well so um so uh, as the, as a parent company brand monk food and beverages private limited we want to create more brands like zuka box pizza trezy table flip uh, we are coming up with a biryani brand we are coming up with a breakfast brand you know we're going to serve like uh, pongal and kichri and what not so all of that we're going to create brands 
brands which will buzz in customers' uh, minds. So that's what we want to do. And um, I want to create. I want to create a lot of entrepreneurs. You know, they want to. I want because since we are franchising, we want to create five hundred franchisees across uh, South India. So that's my vision, and that's the vision that I'm working on. What does zucca mean? Zucca means pumpkin. Pumpkin is a staple food in Italy. So when I say Italian food cuisine, that is always pumpkin. And pizza is an Italian cuisine. That's why we chose the word zucca. This is a question that someone has asked me, so I responded to that. Any questions, guys? Feel free to ask. There is no nothing like a dumb question. I've answered all the questions. I'll I'll take I'll wait for a minute. If there is a question, I'll take it. Otherwise, I'm really really <clears throat> happy to have had this uh, conversation with you all to share uh, my journey and uh, 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 you know what we are what we have done post COVID. But uh, guys, you know education should always give you a lot of empowerment. You know you're all you're all studying MBAs, and don't expect your institution to spoon feed you anything. You are all on your own. Don't expect anybody to spoon feed anything uh, or uh, guide you. It's your life. Education should only take the fear off your mind. Uh, the MBA programs try to learn from others' mistakes. Try to learn. I'm, I'm so glad that you're trying to understand an entrepreneur from within the city rather than looking at the success story of Amazon or Facebook, because these successes, these billion-dollar companies, are actually exceptions. You can create a one crore company, you can create a ten crore company, and you will be like super successful in your life. So um, try to learn from a lot of uh, because Coimbatore has got a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of enterprises are there. Try to get them for guest lectures. Try to get failed entrepreneurs to come and give you lectures because you'll learn lots from failures. Try keep trying, keep pushing yourself. Um, uh, don't worry about this COVID. All you know in in the human man you know in the human history there are, there have always been challenges uh, and and we have been super successful we are the most dominating human um, human beings are the most dominating species in the planet Earth because of what we are capable of and we will continue to dominate this planet Earth and uh, times like this will come and go but we will never stop working our asses off. So as I said, you know, during the COVID, we were working. We were trying to unlock our true potential. Um, uh, we have tried to unlock our true potential during this lockdown. So you sitting in your lockdown also can try to unlock your true potential, your true passion. You could be passionate about something. Try to try it. Um, I know not uh, entrepreneurship is not for everybody, but give it a try. Definitely give it a try. Don't settle. You know, try to stretch as much as possible. 